Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr GTV and MrMikeGarner.com and for many decades I've been teaching personal and spiritual empowerment techniques. This is a really neat breathing technique that I've used personally and shared with hundreds of my students and it's to help you get mental clarity. If you've got brain fog for whatever reason, whether you're stressed, depressed, tired, if you're recovering from an illness, a sickness, a virus, if you are about to go into a situation and you're just overwhelmed, this technique will allow you to get mental focus, physical equilibrium, it will balance you emotionally and it also has spiritual benefits. When you go into breathing techniques, it allows the oxygen levels in your body and your blood system to balance. You'll get good oxygenation for mental clarity, for better organ function, for cellular healing, and it will balance also the carbon dioxide in your blood, which has got many benefits. A lot of people are talking about having long COVID. If you're experiencing that, we need a chat and I'm here for that uh, because I've got a lot to say about that, but we'll do that personally. But whatever it is that's going on for you, trust me, you can clear it and maintain it with this breathing technique. It's very simple, but it's something that I recommend that you could do once an hour or once a day or once a week. You can do it as rarely or as often as you choose. You will only benefit from doing it. A lot of people know stuff, but they don't do it. I would take the advice of Nike and just do it. And it's extremely simple. What you're going to do is you're going to do nostril lung breathing, which means that you're just going to breathe naturally with your nose in and out. You're going to close your mouth so that you seal the air going in and out of your mouth into your lungs. You're going to breathe only through the nose into the lungs and then exhale through the nose gently. And you're going to count for five in between each inhale and exhale. And you're going to block the nose with the thumb and first finger. You're going to pinch it gently here. You're going to breathe gently, pinch gently, hold the breath gently. This is a very soft technique, but extremely powerful. Don't underestimate this. We'll do it together in a moment. And I would recommend that you do about 10 repetitions of this each time you visit this discipline. So what you're going to do is just start in a balanced position, a balanced posture and physiology. You're going to breathe in gently. Don't take a huge lung full of air, just a normal intake. And you're going to breathe in and then you're going to breathe out. And then when you've breathed out naturally and gently, you're going to pinch the nose and hold the breath out with the pinched nose for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you release the pinch and then you do another in-breath gently through the nose. The mouth is closed all the time. You're going to breathe out gently, pinch the nose and hold it again for one, two, three, four, five. This balances the gases in your blood, your body chemistry, in the brain, and it clears brain fog that builds up from stresses, tensions, depressions, anxieties, fears, diseases, sicknesses, whatever's going on for you, this will clear it and balance it and you'll do it in 10 breaths. Now, if you don't have time to do 10 breaths, 
but you wanted to clear it, you could do three breaths. But 10, I would suggest, is a perfect amount. It's easy to remember. And you can do more than 10. You'll find the amount of breaths that's right for you. And as I say, do it on the hour, maybe for the first day, just to get it in. And then do it maybe morning, afternoon and evening for a week. And then just do it every day for the rest of your life. It will clear your brain fog. It will give you mental clarity and you'll be the judge of that. But take my word for it, this works. But you've got to do it to get the benefit from it. And then I'd really appreciate your feedback to tell me how well you're doing. So let's do 10 breaths. Now I won't talk because I'll have my mouth shut. And I'll be breathing in gently through my nose, inhaling into my lungs. I'll be breathing out naturally, gently, through my nose, so expelling the air from my lungs. I'll be pinching my nose for the count of five. So I'll talk again after I've done 10 breaths, and I would recommend that you join me in this exercise. So let's get started. Now, I believe that's approximately 10. It might have been 9, it might have been 11. I don't count particularly how many I'm doing, but I sort of have an idea that that was 10-ish. Um, if you do one less or one more or two less and three more, it, it, don't worry about that. The beauty of it is go into the relaxed state. Don't go into mechanical left brain counting. Just relax and go for it. You'll get an idea of how many you're doing and that's fine. And just notice how good you feel. 
having completed that exercise. I would really, really encourage you to practice nostril lung breathing, breathing in and out through the nose for calming yourself down, balancing the gases in your blood, in your brain, in your body, in your lungs, getting better air exchange, getting things balanced in your mind by controlling your breathing and you block the nose, block the mouth, so that seals the system in between each in-breath and out-breath through the nose. Do this for the next few days, maybe every hour. If you're not able to do that, do it morning, afternoon and evening. Maybe for the first week until you get the major shift and benefit and then do it once a day, in my opinion, for the rest of your life. And let me know how well you're doing. Check back for more from me, Mike G for free on Mr. GTV or wherever you're viewing this presentation. And if there's anything that you need to talk to me, if you want to chat, I'm here for that. Be powerful. Enjoy your mind.